Autoscaling is one of the most important functions of a cloud-native platform, and Kubernetes provides several methods of scaling. The one we'll focus on today is horizontal scaling, which increases the number of pod replicas in a deployment when resource consumption exceeds a certain threshold. This is handled by the Horizontal Pod Autoscaler, or HPA. Implementing HPA is actually pretty easy. We just need to run the Kubernetes metric server and define our HPA rules. The hard part is configuring these rules so that they're optimal for our applications. Fortunately, we can use Gumman to verify that our rules work as intended by reliably scaling our workloads and ensure that we don't run into any unexpected behaviors in production. So example application is an e-commerce shop called the Online Boutique. This application runs a deployment called the Product Catalog Service, which, as the name implies, serves product data to other deployments. As you can imagine, the product catalog is critical to an online e-commerce shop, so we want to make sure that it's both available and performs well. Right now, there's a single replica of the product catalog, but we have an HPA configured to scale it when CPU usage exceeds 70%. This way, if the product catalog is overwhelmed due to a traffic surge or something similar, we can automatically deploy a new pod to balance the load and hopefully prevent failure. On the right side of the screen, I have two terminal windows open running a tool called Canines. The top window lists all the pods belonging to the product catalog service deployment, and the bottom window shows the HPA rule. We're going to use Gumman to run a CPU attack on our product catalog. My hypothesis is that once CPU usage for this deployment exceeds 70%, Kubernetes will provision a new product catalog pod, and we should see it appear in that top window. And if usage continues to exceed that amount, then a third instance will be deployed. We should also see this reflected in the bottom window. First, I'll open up the Gremlin web app and start a new attack by going to Attacks and New Attack. Since we're targeting a deployment, I'll click Infrastructure and then Kubernetes. I'll make sure I have the right cluster selected. Then I'll go down to Deployments and find my product catalog service. So next, I'll go down to choose a Gremlin. I'll select Resource then CPU. I'll increase the attack length to 300 seconds which is five minutes to simulate sustained load, like what we might see during a peak traffic period. And for the amount of CPU to consume, we'll enter 90% across all cores. Next, I'll click Unleash to run the attack. So as the attack starts, we'll start to notice that CPU usage will be increasing. We can monitor the HPA and the target's percentage to see that it's already jumped to 150%. So immediately we see two additional pods being provisioned and we should see our replicas for our HPA increase to three. However, we'll notice that we're still above our capacity. So we might not have enough nodes available to be able to cover the increased demand and that we might want to add some high capacity nodes that specifically provide increased CPU so that in case of another surge like this, we can schedule our product catalog service pod onto a node that has the actual capacity to handle it.